Hey guys, Tony here. Welcome back. A couple of hot news items that you need to know about GameStop if you are investing in it or thinking about investing in it. You probably already have heard that on Sunday, GameStop announced that they are closing their NFT marketplace. I'll put a link to that article down in the video description. However, there is some new news today, Wednesday, January 17th, that I can now confirm to you. It was rumors yesterday that GameStop was closing their 700,000 square foot fulfillment center in York, Pennsylvania. This letter was circulating out on Reddit, a notice to employees that the facility will be closing in March. And now I can confirm to you that if we go to the state of Pennsylvania Department of Labor and Industry website and look at the WARN notices there, that as of this morning, the GameStop Fulfillment Center is listed. Foreclosure with an effective date beginning March 15th. They have the end date on that closure uh, as late as September 30th. So I presume there will be some wind down period for that facility to close down. Hopefully we will get an announcement from GameStop itself with the exact details of this closure and the exact timeline. But this is relevant to your investment in GameStop as this was a massive facility for their e-commerce strategy. And the closing of this 700,000 square foot facility leaves GameStop with only one distribution center left to fulfill all orders on e-commerce in the United States. GameStop investing enthusiasts are going to say that this is bullish as can be. Why wouldn't it be, right? Because they are cutting costs. And that is true. There will be some cost reductions gained from closing this facility. However, when we look at the history of distribution centers closing for GameStop, it lets us know that perhaps management back in 2021 was a little bit aggressive in their planning for the e-commerce business and they bit off more than they could chew. I still think that the GameStop Q4 earnings that are coming up next will be strong based on the normal seasonality that we see with GameStop for Q4. The one thing that's left for us to do as investors is to ponder over the pros and cons of the closing of this distribution center in York, Pennsylvania over the course of 2024, whether it's a hard closure in March or a soft closure between March and September 2024, versus thinking about their e-commerce strategy and what that means for sales. Now, hey, if they can support the entire United States and grow the e-commerce business and support it all through one facility in Grapevine, Texas, fantastic, right? And Ryan Cohen has shown strong determination to cut cost relentlessly, and that is the right thing to do. We need to think about what is the future of the e-commerce business? Are they going to continue to grow it? And if they thought that they were going to continue to grow it, why are they closing the distribution centers? I am Tony DeNaro. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next video.